What's going on, Jaguar fans? Duval Mafia, Jags Nation, Brett James, aka BJ, fan base, Mafia, whatever y'all want to say, man. I hope y'all are having a great day today, man. Let's have a great week ahead. It's my mission purpose on this earth, man, to spread peace, love, and positivity. Always trying to spread good energy, man. So I hope that translates to y'all, man. But secondly, we got to talk about this Jaguars defense today, man. The Jaguars made a lot of changes this offseason from head coach to personnel top to bottom from the draft through free agency. You name it. Everywhere you look, the Jaguars made a lot of changes. And today's the first day of OTAs as I'm recording this video for the Jacksonville Jaguars. But we have to talk about this defense, man. The Jaguars made an immense amount of changes on the defensive side of the ball. And while the Jags were obviously the worst team in football last year, we saw flashes and sparks of what the Jaguars could potentially be on defense at times when we saw performances like they did versus the Buffalo Bills or versus the Miami Dolphins or even versus the Indianapolis Colts, our lone three wins where the Jaguars defense played significantly well and rose to the occasion. Let's talk about this defense today, y'all. Before we get into today's video, man, if you guys could drop me a like, it takes one second and it helps me in the channel out tremendously. And if you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more NBA. And of course, Jacksonville Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm very active and I'm on there every single day posting something so make sure y'all go follow me the links will be in the description down below let's talk about this defense now so i already briefly alluded to it but let's talk about last season's jacksonville jaguars 2021 defense where they rank so that we can kind of get an overview heading into this season and kind of get ourselves a little bit more familiar so the jacksonville jaguars in 2021 their defense had 32 sacks which ranked number 27 in the nfl not very good. That's bottom five. In terms of passing yards per game, this is the best defensive statistical category that the Jaguars were in. They allowed 228 passing yards per game to opposing quarterbacks, which ranked number 17th in the league, which is just below average because obviously 16 would be middle of the pack. In terms of rushing yards per game, they rank number 22 in the NFL. In terms of interceptions, they only had seven interceptions last year, which was second to last in the NFL at number 31 overall. In terms of fumble recoveries, we had two last season, which was dead last in the NFL. And in terms of turnover differential, obviously that goes hand in hand with the offense and special teams, of course. The Jaguars were minus 20 in turnover differential, which was the worst in the NFL. The offense had 29 giveaways last season. The defense combined for only nine takeaways on defense last season. So that led to a minus 20 in the turnover differential, which was dead last in the NFL last year. Now we head into the offseason because the Jaguars did struggle last year into what the Jaguars did and some notable pieces that the Jaguars added to the defensive side of the ball through both free agency and through the draft. We look at guys like Darius Williams, who's having a homecoming this season, coming back to his home city of Jacksonville, Florida. Voice to Luicon coming over from the Atlanta Fackles, the NFL's leading tackler in the 2021 season last year with 192 tackles. We have Falorandu Fadukasi coming over from the New York Jets going to be a great run stuffer you've heard nothing but great things about him we got Trayvon Walker obviously number one overall the guy I'm most excited about is Devin Lloyd linebacker from Utah and linebacker from Wyoming in the third round Chad Muma now the Jaguars really only had about two significant losses to the defensive side of the ball this past offseason and both linebackers both Miles Jack and Damian Wilson Damian Wilson going over to the Carolina Panthers and Miles Jack who was cut going over to the Pittsburgh Steelers now now, with Mike Caldwell coming in as the defensive coordinator, coming over as the linebackers coach from the Tampa Bay Super Bowl winning Buccaneers, he's done a great job developing a lot of linebackers like Shaq Barrett, Devin White, and the list goes on. That's why I'm super excited to see the type of work that a guy like Mike Caldwell does with guys like Chase on, Devin Lloyd, Chad Muma, Josh Allen, the list goes on. I'm super excited about that. But I do believe that Mike Caldwell will be sticking to a 3-4 type of defense because we've heard a little bit of that being thrown around throughout a lot of these press conferences as well through some of the players Doug Peterson and even Mike Caldwell himself that he had in an interview a couple of weeks ago so I'm going to be projecting the Jaguars starting 11 on the defensive side of the ball in this 3-4 defense so at the free safety and at the strong safety position I got Rayshon Jenkins and Andre Sisco at the Mike and Will linebacker position I got Devin Lloyd and Foiseta Luakon at the Salmon Rover Weak side and strong side linebacker. I got Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker. Got both Darius Williams and Tyson Campbell playing the outside corners. And then on the defensive line, I got Dewan Smoot, Devon Hamilton, and Fadu Kasi. Now, a couple of things with this is the fact that the Jaguars will have five brand new starters on the defensive side of the ball. 
coming into this season, which would be Devin Lloyd, Alua Khan, Trayvon Walker, Darius Williams, and Falorandu Fadukasi. Now, I do think that that won't be too much of a transition considering the fact that you've got a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the ball who've been there, done that. You only have really two rookies in there from a guy like Devin Lloyd and both Trayvon Walker, both of our first round picks who have tremendous upside, the athletic ability to actually be dominant from day one. And obviously it'll take them some time to get used to the NFL game and learning all the play calls. But I do think that this Jaguars defense has a significant upside to it. And especially with a lot of the young core pieces that you've got there. I do think that Shaq Griffin will move into the nickel corner package because I do believe that Tyson Campbell and both Darius Williams will remain the outside corners. I believe Darius Williams only last season played three snaps at the nickel the entire season. So I do believe that even though he's undersized, he will remain out there. Tyson Campbell came into his own at the very end of the season and he developed a lot more. Andre Sisco, I think a lot of Jaguar fans are high on him. And then Dewan Smoot really had a breakout season last year. I expect him to continue to build on that. But let's talk about the depth on the defensive side of the ball because that's where this thing gets really interesting outside of just these 11 guys starting. I already alluded to it, but I talked about Shaq Griffin moving over to the nickel. I think that he's going to flourish significantly. And even though he didn't have the best season last year, you really can't blame him because he was the only legitimate proven corner out there. The secondary was in shambles a lot of times with a lot of injuries. And Tyson Campbell, it took him a while to get sped up to the NFL game. He struggled early on, so that didn't really help Shaq Griffin. But he's a proven veteran I expect a lot of great things coming out of him this season and he's just a great veteran Shaq Griffin's gonna flourish at the nickel position then you move on to a guy like Daniel Thomas who's gonna be a great special teams guy and he's still gonna come in and make some solid contributions on the defensive side of the ball at the free safety position and then you got Rudy Ford coming in last season in free agency and then his nickel and dime packages I think that he's gonna come in and be a nice complimentary piece Montrick Brown the corner that we took out of Arkansas in this year's draft he did lead the SEC I think in interceptions and I think he was top three in the SEC in terms of quarterback passer rating when targeted Montrick Brown I'm super high on him I do think that it'll take him some time to get some time onto the field but I do think that in the long term he's going to be a guy that's going to be an absolute steal for this team I'm really excited to see what he does especially in the preseason Caleb on chase on I think he's going to be a good weak side linebacker to come in provide some potential and it takes guys a long time to get used to the NFL game you really can't blame him when he's had three head coaches and three defensive coordinators in his first three seasons in the NFL do I think chase on going to absolutely break out out of the scene and have a 10 sack season absolutely not but I think that he's going to provide some solid contributions to this defense he still has the athletic ability to flourish but also we've seen the job Mike Caldwell does with linebackers and I think Chase on this is going to be the season where you really see a significant improvement from him Arden Key that we got over from the 49ers defense in San Francisco last season Arden Key I think had six and a half sacks last season that's just off the top of my head so don't quote me on that but the Jaguars pass rush is going to look phenomenal on these third and down and distances where the Jackson just gets straight after the pass rusher and then you've got guys like Roy Robertson Harris Jay Tufele Malcolm Brown Adam Gotsis Shaq Quarterman another Jacksonville product bro the Jaguars just got depth all over this defense and those Jaguar and that Jaguars defensive line with Fadu Kasi, Devon Hamilton, Jay Tufele, Arden Key, Josh Allen, Trayvon Walker, Roy Robertson, Harris, Dewan Smoot, the list goes on. This is going to be a great rotation no matter whether the Jags want to plan for the run, they want to get after the pass rusher, whatever it may be man, the Jaguars are doing the right things and this defensive line is seriously loaded in terms of depth now let me actually project some of the stat leaders that i'm projecting for the jaguars defense in 2022 i believe that foy say to is going to lead this team in tackles last year he had 192 which led the nfl i'm going to project somewhere around 160 just because i think that there's a lot more depth on this side of the ball than it was in comparison to Atlanta, who has a horrible defense, and especially last season, he had a lot more opportunities to lead the NFL in tackles. So I think he's going to get about 160, six tackles for a loss, and two interceptions. He's the guy I think that's going to make a huge, solid contribution day one for this team as a free agent on the defensive side of the ball. I think Andre Sisco will lead this team in interceptions this season with four interceptions. Andre Sisco did not register an interception last season in his rookie year, but Andre Sisco showed his flashes when he got his opportunities to play on the field, and he's a phenomenal athlete. I'm super excited to watch him this season. Then I believe Josh Allen will lead this team 
in sacks this season. I think he's going to tie his rookie and career high with 10 and a half sacks. We saw Josh Allen struggled these last two seasons after his rookie season and didn't get back to the Pro Bowl because he didn't have another premium edge rusher alongside of him plus he was battling some injuries over time I believe Josh Allen now that the Jaguars have a lot more depth on the defensive line and Josh Allen's going to be put into a better system for him I think that he's going to flourish a lot better you're going to see a great Josh Allen 10 and a half sacks this year is what I'm projecting for him and then I think the defensive MVP in general will be Foyce to Luicon. like I said I think he will be the biggest impact defensive free agent that the Jaguars got in Fadu Kasi, Darius Williams, and Foiseta Luakon. I think that he will be this MVP and the MIP, the most improved player on the defensive side of the ball, will be Tyson Campbell, our second round pick out of Georgia last season. As I said, Tyson Campbell, really, it took him a while to get up to speed with the NFL game. We saw him in the early parts of the season, not really have a great start to his rookie campaign. He was getting burnt a lot by guys like Jamar Chase. I don't blame him. But Tyson Campbell came into his own. He had two interceptions last year. And I think Tyson Campbell is poised for a breakout sophomore season. And then the Jaguars defensive rookie of the year, I'm going to give it to Devin Lloyd. The guy I'm most excited to see on this defense this season and one of the biggest ads to this defense in general. I think his upside is a guy like a Bobby Wagner and potentially to being an all-time great linebacker. I was super high on him coming out of the draft. There was no way in hell I thought he was going to drop anywhere below 20, 25, and sure enough, he did. Devin Lloyd, I'm super excited to have this guy here, Ben. He's going to be the best Jaguars defensive rookie. No shade thrown on Trayvon Walker. And then the last thing I'm going to project with the Jaguars is from last season of this season, because I already talked about in the very beginning of the video, the ranks in which the Jaguars had on the defensive side of the ball, I'm going to project that for this season. So last year in 2021, the Jaguars ranked number 27 in the NFL in sacks. They only had 32 last year. I think the Jaguars move up from 32 sacks to 43 sacks this season. I think that's a reasonable and a fair estimate as to where the Jaguars can get because we saw Mike Caldwell have a lot of different blitz packages if you watched a lot of Tampa Bay Buccaneers games. I think the Jaguars can bump that up by 11 plus sacks this season. I think that's a fair number. Then when we talk about the interceptions, the Jaguars only had seven interceptions this year, but I think the Jaguars easily will double that. I think that the Jaguars get 16 interceptions this year simply off the fact that the back end is going to be significantly better getting guys like Darius Williams back there and obviously another Another year of Tyson Campbell, Andre Sisco, Rayshon Jenkins, and Shaq Griffin all playing together. The back end is going to help the pass rush, and the pass rush with all the additions that the Jaguars added to that will also help the back end. Everything goes hand in hand. I think that the Jaguars will get 16 interceptions heading into this year. And then fumble recoveries, the Jaguars were dead last last season only had two fumble recoveries I think that the Jaguars can get four just because I think that the Jaguars are going to do a lot better of a job intercepting the ball this year and actually creating turnovers in that regard versus more so causing fumbles but either way I'd love to get more takeaways now to actually answer the question of this video will the Jaguars have a top 10 defense Yes, they will. That is going to be the one scorching hot take, which a lot of people don't think that's a hot take. I think that's a hot take. The Jaguars will have a top 10 defense in the NFL this year, and the Jacksonville Jaguars offense will not be up to par with the Jaguars defense. And that's no shade on the offense. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. The Jaguars defense is for real and if Mike Caldwell is going to be the defensive coordinator that I think he can be and Brenton Buckner the defensive line coach is the D-line coach that I saw in Arizona I think just the Jaguars athleticism the speed and the agility in which a lot of these guys possess I think is going to really help out what this defense can do and we all know defenses play with swagger that's the one thing defenses carry with them week to week it's that energy it's that juice it's that Miami Hurricanes you bring out the turnover chain which I don't think that they do anymore defenses play with swagger and they want to intimidate an opposing offense I think the Jaguars got a lot of dogs on this defense I think the Jaguars have a lot of raw talented players and guys like Trayvon Walker and Devin Lloyd possibly Chad Muma who are going to come in and make solid contributions once they get their feet wet and they get more integrated into the NFL game and they have a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the ball that can help to groom and keep a locker room together from Rayshon Jenkins, Shaq Griffin, Darius Williams, Foiseta Luakon, the list goes on, Josh Allen of course too, a great stand-up leader. The Jaguars have everything on the defensive side of the ball from pass rush to the back end to the linebackers, the defensive coordinator, the defensive line coach, you name it. I think that the Jaguars defense is going to be a top 10 defense this year. And I don't think that that should be 
too far off jaguar fans i want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below do you guys think that the jaguars will have a top 10 defense in the nfl this upcoming season and do you guys believe that the Jaguars defense will be better than the offense this season? I want to hear your thoughts, like I said, in the comments down below. And if you guys still haven't already, make sure you guys drop me a like. It takes one second and it helps me in the channel out tremendously. And like I said, if you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more NBA and, of course, Jacksonville Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube. Make sure you guys go follow me on all of my socials on Twitter and Instagram. They will be in the description down below. But Brett James, a.k.a. BJ, I'm out, y'all. Go Jags, baby. Peace.